hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome in today's video i am going to be trying the fenty beauty by rihanna ease drop blurring skin tint I am so excited to try this because we all know a Fenty has got a good rep. So this is, you know, it's a skin tint, it's not a foundation. So it's not going to give you full coverage. This says it will give you light to medium coverage, which is, you know, I think that's fine for everyday wear. I don't always want to look cakey and fakey. So I'm hoping this is going to be a winner and then I'm going to enjoy the product because I would love to love this. I got shade 7. I actually ordered this offline, so I'm going to hope that this shade is fine for me. <laughs> I live in the UK and I bought mine from Boots. It is supposed to be... Could I not? <laughs> it is supposed to be £25, but Boots were having a sale on all like high-end beauty products. So this was originally £25, but I got it for £21, 25p. I mean, for like a high-end product, that doesn't seem too bad to me, but I guess we've got to try what's inside first. If you are in America, then this retails for $29.50. Okay let's open her up so the product comes in this really cute plastic patch packaging uh so here is what it looks like then you twist off the cap and voila it is a little pory one before we dive in let's put on some primer i've just applied my skincare so my skin is looking rather shiny so we need to mattify that down i'm going to be going in with the alf poreless putty primer and i will just put it around my t-zone area <laughs> or everywhere by the looks right let's dive in to the review i'm also going to be doing a wear test for this product just to let you know my skin is oily so we're going to be testing to see how it wears on oily skin if it's anything like the kvd good apple then we ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> so it does say online that you can apply this with your fingers, with a brush. I mean, you can always apply this with a sponge, but again, if you apply it on a sponge, it is gonna absorb most of the product. I'm gonna apply with a brush because I don't usually apply products with my hands. So I'm gonna distribute it with a brush and then if I need to, maybe we'll dab it out with a beauty blender. Just a little bit. Don't wanna be too close, do we? We're still friends. Okay, so it's very liquidy. It's running down my hand. It is running a marathon. So we're gonna just dab it on my face. As you can see, I do have quite a lot of blemishes. Again, it has been around the most wonderful time of the month. I'm just gonna blend out. Okay, so. Wow. I've only applied a little bit so far and it seems to be giving quite a good coverage for especially something that is light to medium obviously i don't expect it to be covering up everything but it has minimized my redness wow that was like so effortless to blend i didn't put as much on this side by the looks but from the little bit that i have put on wow let's go in with some more so for me what i'm looking for is just something to even out my skin tone give me a little bit of coverage but not look cakey just something that is light on the skin and i could wear every day and so far i am rather impressed i'm just gonna apply a little bit more on the forehead because you can still see like, some spots I'm just going to turn down the beauty light just so you can see my skin a little better. So as you can see, I do have some scarring over here. So that's really hard to cover because it's like indented in the skin. It doesn't cover very well. I am just going to put some under my eyes because I haven't put any there because I usually use concealer. But let's see what happens if you stick this underneath brightened a little bit i wouldn't say it's covered my raccoon eyes <laughs> i am really surprised with how much it's actually covered 
because usually with skin tints, they're usually a bit of a hit or miss because they don't really cover that well. It does feel quite oily, like if I touch the skin, I can see my fingerprint going on there. So I will definitely need to set it because I have oily skin, I would do that anyway. It is bunching up in my nose a little bit, but that's normal for me. That usually happens with products. You can actually see it like this, but when I go like that, but when do I walk around like this? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup, just a little bit. I'm not doing anything dramatic today and I'll be back. She's back. I have just finished applying the rest of my makeup. I set under my eyes and around my nose, maybe a bit of a T-zone, with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then with the rest of my face, I use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus to set the rest of my face. Here is what my skin is looking like. I am actually really impressed with how it is looking. It sets really nicely it doesn't feel tacky anymore all of my other products applied nicely on top and yeah i really like the finish it's giving it's giving me good coverage this is the coverage that i would want for a day-to-day -day basis to me my face looks nice i love the finish let's see how this bad boy wears but first i'm going to show you my face in a natural lighting i am loving how my skin is looking i think it looks really youthful it has a nice like glow to it hopefully that glow isn't going to turn into oil I'm gonna carry on wearing this and I'll check back in later. What do you think my skin looks like? No, I mean, not as good as mine. But How do you think my makeup looks like? Most beautiful makeup I've ever seen. What do you think my foundation looks like today? Um, it's not oily and um, it's not shiny. Yeah, and it looks natural. Boom. Does it look better than my foundation usually or what do you like about it? Um, what do I like about your foundation? Yeah, do you know what foundation is? No. <laughs> <laughs> foundation is what's all over my face love yeah but this like red not stuff. the blush okay. the foundation which is like the base color like you see what, what's everywhere mm. not the bronzer or the blush uh, i'd say it's a little bit more brown than i'm used to seeing you with or clay you know what i mean clay like clay how's that look like clay no, i'm not saying it looks like clay i'm saying a hint of clay update i've been wearing this foundation for about four hours here is what it's looking like so i've got like a glow like a sheeny glow but i wouldn't say i look oily yet i definitely have that you know sheen but it's not to the point where i feel oily yeah so i'm still loving how it's looking i think it looks great i will just add a little bit of powder because i probably would do that anyway so i'm just going to take a little bit on a big brush and just tap it in nothing insane but yeah i'm just gonna pop a little bit on because right now i am gonna go for a walk so i will check back in in a few hours i have now had the skin tint on for seven hours this is what it's looking like. Um, hello. She looks great after seven hours and I walked three kilometers. So I did get a good little workout in <laughs> and it still looks bloody great. I'm gonna go have a little nap before I go to work and then I will check back in with my final thoughts. Hello, nice to see ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. Especially with this skin. Oh god, got a different top on. Don't worry about it. It is the same day. So I'm back for my last check-in of the night. It is, oh look at that little cutie. Oh the time's down there. Can you see it? It is 9.08 p.m. It has been nine hours since I put this on my face and oh I'm not trying to be funny but I love it. I bloody love it. I don't know what Riri did but she pulled it out the bag with this one. This is literally like my perfect product. This is the coverage that I want. This is the look. You know, I do look, I wouldn't say I look oily. I've got a sh like sheen, but it's like glowy. So I am 
so impressed with this product as you know my skin is oily i did the touch up earlier with powder and then haven't touched it up since then the creasing is minimal like nothing it looks bloody amazing i'm so impressed with this product um i don't know what else to say i i'm so impressed i would definitely recommend this product if you've got a spare 21 quid go in or 25 if it's not on sale anymore definitely give this a go if this is the kind of look that you are hoping for but i do get the blurring effect like my pores seem to be filled in and not so visible anymore so it really does what it says on the tin bloody love it i'm all out of words my vocabulary is very minimal <laughs> as we know thank you for watching today's video if you did like today's video please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye <laughs> and the award for the best tint goes to you